Yo, welcome finally to my football kit collection. It's me, David Vianic, and I have been promising this to people for I think over a year that I'm going to do this kit collection because I did it before, but I was a bit hungover when I filmed. And I didn't really get the right energy in, so now I'm ready. I've taken a whole afternoon. I've laid all the fucking kits out, and fam, there's a lot of kits. But yeah, I'm going to tell you some stories about my favourite kits. This was my first kit. It was the Brazil 1998 World Cup kit. I think it was 1998 in March that I came to the UK. And then May was the World Cup. So it was literally two months and football for me became my number one love. And the one guy was Ronaldo, R9. I think it was the way he moved on the pitch, how quick he was and something about his personality. And just Brazil in general, there was actually a Brazilian girl in school that I fancied, I remember. I don't remember her name, but she was brunette. She was really cute, I was five years old. She didn't like me in the end, but I really liked her. And I think that played a part and I just, yeah, started falling in love with Brazil. Since then, I've always been like buying Brazil kits. So then this one ended up being one of my favorite kits, it was R9 again, 2002 World Cup. I waited a bit to get this one. And I remember queuing up in Nike Town getting the print done, always bothering my parents because um, yeah, we didn't really have, have the finances to buy a lot of kits. But as I grew up and I started working and making a bit more money working in football, you know, I built my collection. Some people like cars, some people like clubbing, alcohol. For me, it's this, it's football kits. When they didn't win the World Cup, with this one, I cried against France, 3-0, I remember, in the toilet, thinking I was Brazilian fully thought my name was Rodrigo. And then this one, in 2002, was when they won it. I remember Ronaldo, toe punt against Turkey. It was when Rivaldo falls on the floor against Turkey in the group stages. You had a few crazy games. And then against Germany, two goals, Oliver Kahn. I was very, very happy. In Russia 2018, I actually got to interview R9 himself. I'm smiling now, look. The man was my childhood and the reason that I fell in love with football. So this kit, special memories and maybe my favorite the blue one this one the name that pops up in my head Ronaldinho shout out to Brazil big up all the Brazilians absolute legends shout out to Feijoada and Caipirinha and uh, City of God Cidade de Deutsch one of my favorite favorite movies well you move on from my love affair with Brazil to my love affair with Liverpool and I remember seeing this man play football, Michael Owen. People always ask me, why do you support Liverpool? Why did you support, why did you pick Liverpool? I think a game was on TV, an FA Cup game. And then my mum said something about, that's Michael Owen. He's like a great England player. And I was like, what team is that, Liverpool? And I think I heard the fans or something. And I picked Liverpool. I was like, yeah, this is going to be my team from now on. So I started supporting Liverpool hardcore, ended up going to crazy games. I haven't actually spoken to Michael Owen. One man I did speak to, was Steven Gerrard and I got the wrong fucking number because he was 17 I went to JD Sports or JJB RIP and I um, got the 17 printed but he ended up changing to number 8 but this is the kit 2005 Champions League Istanbul A man like Stevie G absolute legend got this one though I'd say maybe style wise the retro vibe this kit is beautiful. Stan Collymore, I believe it's 1996, I'm not sure. The old kits for me, so much better than the new ones, man. They've got like a bit of, I don't know, a bit of weight to them. Maybe they're not as like fitted, but they feel like a better quality kit. Much, much better. This one's quite iconic. I know the cameraman hates it. I remember Bellamy Risa, Liverpool beating Barcelona at the new Camp 2-0. This kit for me was sick. It's, I just remember Liverpool nearly winning the league. It would have been so mad to win it in a, in a fucking Warrior kit. Oh, this is a beauty. Just a banging kit. Banging. Shout out to Coutinho. Got the signed Coutinho shirt as well. So he ended up kind of being remembered as a snake. But he was a good player. I don't think he was, he was that bad of a dude. So a special mention in my Liverpool section is Lazar Markovic. I've waited for a Serbian guy to sign for Liverpool for so long. You had Milan Jovanovic, then Lazar came, 
say the total of like four games, bless him, he's actually back at Partizan Belgrade. And he gave me this kit off his back at Liverpool against Wimbledon. I went to watch the game, as you can see, it's still got the dirt on it. There you go, Wimbledon dirt. Yeah, he saw me with the Serbian flag and I was like, yo, Lazare, dai dres, dai dres, prate. He was like, he saw me, took it off and he was like, to him, to him, to him. He gave me the shirt. So yeah, that was a, a very nice moment. That one there, the goalkeeper one, I actually played at Anfield in that kit. Down there. And then the yellow one, which is up there, and it's up there as well, I got two. I scored at Anfield. Dive! Yes! In there! Yes! Yes! At the fucking cup! Come on! That was one of the greatest moments of my life. And I faced a very weird moment when Red Star Belgrade beat Liverpool in the Champions League 2-0, which just wasn't meant to happen. Big, big shout out to Red Star Belgrade, one of their greatest kits. And I think it's iconic, the Cyrillic writing. I would say these next two or three are my favorite aesthetically peeling kits that I have. But once again, it's Red Star. Sort of in Zvezda. It's a long sleeve, 1996, Kappa badge fading off, stitched in, great weight and quality to it. Kappa, some of the most legendary kids. But then, this is when I went through my Jamaican phase. <laughs> so in my life I've been Brazilian, Scouse and Jamaican. A great kit, they beat Japan in it. It was one of their yeah, greatest moments. And once again, it's a Kappa kit. My third one, and this is the player edition kit, the Spurs third kit. Because Nike have now come back with the retro sign, the logo. The panels of the stadium on the side are imprinted in the kit. So it's a real, real beauty. You can see it in the colour, I think, in the glare. And I'm hearing next year, Liverpool, swoosh. That's, that's the rumours. And if Liverpool get the swoosh, I think Liverpool are going to start dominating world football massively over the next three or four years. See Premier League, maybe like one, one or two more Champions Leagues, attracting the best players. Liverpool and Klopp, absolute revolution. Now these all just have a bit of a story behind them. I've been doing YouTube for, for quite a while now, and luckily enough, I've, been, I've had the opportunity to play at a few grounds. I played at Wembley, so at the Wembley Cup, shout out to Spencer Owen, hashtag United. I played in goal. Well done, Vujinic. Well, you we were talking about Vujinic before the game and you said he's a bit of a prankster and did ever... The evolution of YouTube and football on YouTube has been mad. And to be a part of that has been absolutely insane. And I was part of the YouTube All-Stars against the Sidemen. Came out the um, second half, out of goal, and I missed the pen. <laughs> That wasn't my greatest moment. But the drippiest kids, this Barcelona is a madness. It's something about the color, the weight, no sponsor. You can wear it with anything. Pair of jeans, on a date, pair of shorts. <sighs> Fuck it to your wedding, however you want from. Nothing, just nothing, just nothing in it. You know what I'm saying? You might have to nut in the kit, how good it is. <laughs> I was saying, for me I normally nut in socks, but I might have to nut in this kit soon. And then there's the kind of gold orange version of it. The same thing is the weight, the way it drops. It's just a real, real football kit. Once again, like a 90s type vibe, PSG with the Opel. Bam. And then we have the Fila Toyota Fiorentina kit. Johnny picked out the neckline on this one. Look at it. You can even, yeah, it's a roll it down. You want to do that little vibe to it, but it's so padded as well, padded on some Robocop vibe. When you're ready to riot, end of the world, climate change and that, boom. Geography I find funny, and politics, and how it all mixes up and it even affects football. And when I was born in Yugoslavia in 92, the first time I watched them play was the World Cup in 98 in the UK. So as you can see here, the badge was the FSJ. So Futbolski Saros Yugoslavia. And they had some iconic players. Jokanovic, Fulham manager, you had Stankovic, you had Stojkovic, you had Mijatovic. Great, great side. 
great side. And we actually wore this kit in Yugoslavia, also one of my favorite kits. But then the Euros came and I had to get this kit. So it's Mihailovic, some legendary games in this, Spain beating us 4-3 in the group stages. He also had 3-3 with Slovenia, scoring three goals with a man down to make it 3-3. And then we become first SCG, Futbolski Savez, Serbia i Cernegore. The Football Association of Serbia and Montenegro. Wore this in that absolutely disastrous World Cup campaign in Germany 2006, and we ended up becoming Serbia. <laughs> so from blue, changed to red, had a few sponsors, Umbro, um, over there I've got the World Cup one from Russia. Not the greatest successes, but hey, shit happens. We always have good players, but never really a good team. Intense, insane. I fucking love it. I love football kits. If you, if you ever want to send me a kit, here's my Instagram. Send it. I'll happily add it to my collection. I love football shirts. I love traveling. I love meeting people. So yeah, if you're watching this, make sure you keep having a nice, make sure you like the video. And I am giving away a kit and I thought, why not give away this PSG Jordan kit, a collaboration kit. All you have to do is make sure you like the video and leave a comment predicting how many kits in total do you think there are here? So yeah, make sure you check out the Planet Vu channel. Thank you for watching if you've come from over there. Make sure you like this video. And yeah, those are a few of my stories. From my kits, there's, there's many, many more. But to talk about it all is just, yeah, this will take three hours. So yeah, if you've stayed for so far, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff that they say on YouTube. More life and keep having a nice.